This morning we are continuing our investigation into the East Bay Street fire that gutted a downtown building and put multiple bars out of business. News 2's Rebecca Collette explains what happened when water pressure dropped and the single thing that could have made the biggest difference. In all, 17 units responded to 213 East Bay Street April 2nd. It was an hour into the battle to save these buildings when crews found themselves with another issue to fight. If I, I don't have any water, it, it is very limited. Turns out, running out of water is a problem more prevalent on the peninsula than in other regions. Some water pipes date back to the 1880s. The lines under East Bay Street specifically, more than 100 years old, and they just tapped out. Well, we have areas of concern, we absolutely do, but part of my job and part of, of the uh, fire department's job is to make sure that we have a backup plan for those areas. Firefighters created a supply line with their hoses and were able to dump 4,000 gallons per minute onto the fire. But can something be done so firefighters don't lose critical minutes with low pressure? I took that question to the head of operations at Charleston Water Systems. Our system, from all indications, uh, had adequate water there uh, and worked properly. In fact, Ferry says the system worked above DHAC standards, but we found standards of pressure are lower on the peninsula than they would be in, say, West Ashley. So how is Charleston Water handling the challenge of this historic city? Long term, we'll be making some improvements. That includes regular system checks and flushes, upgrades at fire hydrants, and a new tank and pump system on Nassau Street coming in 2014. Maintaining your system is very important, keeping that infrastructure up to date. If you fall behind in infrastructure maintenance, it's very difficult to get caught up, both in terms of money, in terms of the manpower and materials to get those infrastructure upgrades made. So you have to be disciplined in maintaining your infrastructure. As for any operating error, the critical incident review found none. They went out that day and they performed the way that we expect them to perform and just did a phenomenal job. As for the single thing that could have made the biggest difference in this fire, the fire marshal tells me had this building been retrofitted with a sprinkler system, these businesses would likely already be open again to the public. And if this same business was built with today's standards, laws would require that sprinkler system. We're live downtown Charleston this morning. Rebecca Collette, News 2. All right, thank you, Rebecca. As for what's next for that building, the lawyer for Squeeze says the demolition is ongoing. But as for plans moving forward, they are deadlocked.